Hey Pony Pals, it's Emma from Paint Pony Studios, and today I've got something really cool for you guys. We're gonna unbox Oliver, this year's Briarfest celebration horse. Um, Oliver is actually a resident of the horse park, and I believe he is a Pinto Pertron cross. Um, it should say on the back of the box, so I'll actually go ahead and read that for you guys now. Uh, this has to be one of my favorite um, celebration horses from the times that we've actually gone to Briarfest. So over the past 10 years, um, there have been some really cool celebration horses, but I think this is probably one of my favorites. So, a mountain police officer's horse needs to be athletic, trusting, and steadfast in all situations. Captain Lisa Rates of the Kentucky Horse Park Mounted Police has found that and more in her equine partner, Oliver. An 11-year-old Shire Cross, Oliver's flashy black and white coat and large stature ensure that the duo stands out wherever they go. Oliver joined the KHP Mounted Police Unit at age 5 and his friendly and curious nature has served him well. After going through training that included groundwork, schooling, and obstacle and sensory training, he joined Captain Rakes on duty. These partners lead parades, work prestigious events like the Kentucky three-day event and Briarfest, and go on daily park patrols, Oliver's favorite. Captain Rakes says it best when she talks about her equine partner. He loves people, loves being the center of attention, and is a great ambassador to the Kentucky Horse Park. Now, for those of you who haven't gone to Briarfest, Oliver and uh, Captain Rakes are actually the ones that lead you into the park um, every morning, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, so it's finally, it's, it's great to see Oliver finally get the recognition he deserves. So why don't we go ahead and pop this guy open and we'll do a review of this model. So I'm a big fan of the Cleveland Bay mold. I, I really do like I mean, him in his entirety, uh, whether it's this version with the loose mane or the braided version. I have an O'Leary's Irish Diamond um, from back in 2010, I believe that came out, uh, that I've had since its release. And you know, he's just a really cool horse. And this mold can be so many different breeds. Um, so it's gonna take a little bit of research to figure out uh, what this guy is going to be. But a lot of times with the celebration horses, even if I like them, I don't end up keeping them because of a lot of the flaws in the paint job, whether it's masking or um, scratches or whatever. Uh, but these guys, uh, for the most part, all looked pretty clean. Um, I can't really see much wrong with him other than just a little bit of overspray. Um, but it is also when you consider Oliver's markings and the way that the mane is pushed back, these little pinto markings, and how they did, you know, where the white flows into the hair, it's kind of hard not to have some overspray, so like, I'll, I'll forgive them for that. Um, having masked off a lot of stuff like that myself from working at Stone, like, that is a hard thing to do, getting that hair pattern right when you're taping it off, as opposed to brush painting. It's a little easier, you have more control when you're brush painting. Um, but, this is all perfectly clean. He's got really nice edging there. 
I don't see many spots where there's actual bleed. Um, and then Oliver, the real Oliver, does actually have like this little part of his tail that has, you know, the black on it. Otherwise, nice white tail. He is stamped on the bottom with Briarfest 2019, 30th anniversary. And then, uh, too, he does have his ermine spots. Uh, at least this one does. Some people claim that theirs are missing the ermine spots. But this is, this is looking pretty good. Trying to see if there's anything else. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. There's a little... Huh. Okay, check this out. So, on this guy, uh, I've never encountered this on a briar. Um, there's some masking that needs to be peeled off. This has been left here by the factory workers. So let's take a look and peel that off. <laughs> I thought, oh, maybe they added like some sort of, um, you know, something to the mold. But nope, that is just masking. And I'm just going to make sure that I got all of it off. Take my fingernail there, get all that off. But yeah, <laughs> they left some masking on this guy. That's interesting. Like I said, I've never encountered that on a briar before. But yeah, no, I, I really enjoy this mold and the, the color on this mold. You guys probably can't tell that he's not straight black. He does have really nice brown shading to him, especially in his flank area, his chest, uh, a little bit under his face, and actually he's got a spot under his face as well. He's got a spot right in there in his little like jaw area, and a really cute little lip spot too. Uh, eyes are painted really nice. On the Celebration horses, they don't usually do the bi-colored eyes, I, and I understand why when you're cranking out, you know, thousands upon thousands of horses, um, doing multicolor eyes is kind of tough. Um, especially it's, it's time consuming, but his eyes are painted very nicely. I, I'd really like to see this guy in some tack. I think somebody already had him in like a carriage set, um, but I don't know. I, I'd like to see him in more than just harness. Uh, this mold has, you know, this, it's very versatile. All right, so thanks for sticking around Pony Pals and hope you enjoyed Oliver, this year's celebration horse. If you like what you see, go ahead and give the video a like, uh, comment, and tell me your favorite celebration horse. Oliver is definitely mine, but there have been some really good ones over the past 10 years and 30 years of Briarfest as a whole. But in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!